Oh yeah, I see. Very yeah, good. which was pretty nice, pretty sweet. <laughs> but I remember to tell everybody in my community who, because I have neighbors and things that walk, like things might not make it on the news. That guy was talking about the news. I just want to remind everybody, we've had at least two officers murdered in the line of duty trying to be heroes and save me and my wife from sex trafficking and other people. Some men wanted to impregnate some people and sell babies. And two officers who were investigating that, uh, one of them was murdered in front of my own face in my house. And I just want to remind people in my community who's seen that shit happen or seen shit go down and, 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 it, and where to place their faith. Cause if, if we're allowing like my neighborhood, they saw the, the SWAT team show up, the military show up. There was a lot of soldiers murdered and things like that. It all escalated from one group of men trying to impregnate people and sell fucking babies. And we actually had officers murdered in the line of duty and we're pretending that they crashed their car. We're pretending other shit happened. Like, how do you do that to a family? Your, 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 your father, your brother, your uncle, your dad decided to be a cop and do a job. And he lost his life being a hero, being an angel. And we're going to cover that shit up and just treat his whole fucking, that loss like, well, fucker should have had better training. He was ambushed. He was ambushed in the streets. He should have had better training. He, he, his, his, the road was slippery and he crashed his fucking car. No. God. He was, we had old, old men who sell babies murder fucking cops. They had cops murdered. But I'm, I'm hoping somebody live streams this. You asked me, do I talk? Am I hoping they pay attention? I am hoping they pay attention. Now, when you posted that to, to, to home ma today, I think that was today. Mount Tahoma. Mount Tahoma. It's a cemetery. So some of the soldiers that were murdered in my house or, or, or lost their lives in my house, they, you know, they buried at Tahoma. Where are you going? Tahoma. Huh? I got a video. One of them, I said, went to hell. But some of them went, went some of them go to home, to home, huh? Where I'm literally, my, 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 the pals and shit like that. One guy was murdered in there. You know, they, I have a job. I did my, my job or whatever. You know, they gave, they gave somebody a pistol and gave me a pistol and said, all right, who fucking survives? The pals had somebody fucking murdered in their yard. Two people, guns, with some kids watching. All right, who's going to survive? Who's going to live this shit? I want you. People have died so that my, so my neighbors can traffic fucking children. They had officers fucking murdered. You think about the pals being involved in the cover up of a murder of an officer while using the officers to help them because they don't know any better. Why do you think about it, as an officer, you're helping somebody who's actually setting up you guys to be murdered. You're actually helping you know, the military, helping their other brothers, other members who are actually setting them up to be murdered. God. We've got to gotta have the witnesses murdered. How do we do that? We'll all pretend to be the good guys. And when the officer shows up, we'll pretend maybe that guy, that officer's the bad guy. We, we murder the guy who's investigating the shit. We murdered the officers who showed up on the original call. That in real life shit. It's real life stuff. You start me over. Like we got all this gaslighting. I try to explain to people. Before Courtney and all these people got a hold of my information, I made sure that I shared it in all over the world first. All over the world first. You think about the, the chain of command, the military in my in my neighborhood, showing the world. If you want to rape somebody and sell a baby and murder cops, we got your back. We got you. You want to murder some people so that you can rape somebody and sell a yeah, baby? Like they've got it down to a science. Big time. Big fucking time. That's, but I mean, these kids, my wife's genetics, my genetics, these kids, when they grow up, will have, something's going to come up because DNA testing, genetics, it's becoming a big deal. Yeah. They're going to get one. And you might not even know that you're adopted. You might think your parents are your parents. You imagine growing up your whole life thinking your parents are your parents. You get a Oh, yeah, I see. Very yeah, good. Yeah, which is pretty nice, pretty sweet. <laughs> People ask me about the election. I'm talking, what up? 
The election, you know how embarrassing America is? What a fucking joke we've made our military and our police department look. You guys are fucking murdering the good guys. The, you're allowing people to want, see that. You guys are murdering the good guys. Fucking embarrassing. Mm. Come back and with you on my, on my for feet a really again. long time. A, a lot. There's a lot of a lot of fallen soldiers and a lot of fallen, a lot of people have lost. I try to explain to people there is things. I'm a lot of people have laid their life down so that I could be here today. I don't know why, but in real life, a lot of people have died just so I can speak. People died, knowing. I mean, you think as an officer, you go. The last one that went there was murdered, but I'm going to try myself. So I had some officers come and try and try to, to take me away from some military men on the side of my house. And, you know, I, I, I was, I, you know, when the guys had their backs to me, I was looking at the cops. I'm like, you, like, you guys will be dead, man. You'll be fucking murdered tomorrow. Mm. Leave. They didn't understand. The police didn't understand. You know, I'm like, you guys will be murdered tomorrow. You'll be, you'll be the next ant. You went around the corner and somebody shot you. <laughs> or, you know, you, your, your car happened to leak fucking oil too when you're going through a drive, going through a, a, a stop sign and it slid and your car flipped over and you burnt up next. God. They had cops murdered. Murdered. You imagine a child turning 18 years old and you find out my whole life was built around murdering cops. My whole family structure, my whole life, my whole family structure, everything about my reality that I believe was real is the right. result of officers being murdered, soldiers' lives being taken. It really is like we're living, there's two, I mean, at least two different worlds going on at once. You know, the whole dark web, the whole darkness of all this. I mean, you, I mean, and then you, you the, think, the life you think that about, we're all thinking we Yeah, we, two different worlds. In, in, in reality, we have the military protecting some men who rape somebody. To yeah. sell a baby and protect them to the point where we're murdering cops. We're murdering, and I don't mean we, they are murdering people. They murdered officers. I'm spo like, they don't understand why I have meltdowns and I have freakouts. Like, as, I, I try to think when you exercise and your memory starts to come back, those memories come back. Yeah. Right? I remember, you know, I remember, I remember the good officer being murdered. And then I also remember the bad officer participating. Right? I remember the good cops and the bad cops. Mm -hmm. and it's very interesting. The bad cop who participated in sexual assault in front of another female officer, he didn't lose his fucking life. It was the good guy, the good cop who tried to stop them. Ain't that weird? Yes. The, the bad cop who another female officer witnessed sexually assaulting a woman. He didn't lose his life. The, the good cop who was reporting it was trying was turning shit in. They lost their lives. It's not right. Start me over again. It sucks. Listen to me. <clears throat> I, have, I have to punch back in from lunch, but go. Are you going on live again tonight? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, we'll try. All right. Because I have to work. Okay. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, Josh, you want to know about Josh? He was tortured by the military. He was talking about being, you know, being physically, psychologically tortured, being told to do some bad things, a homicide, mass shootings, kill some people. And he didn't. He ended up, he, he, I mean, he met them halfway. He took his own life. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, I'm taking it easy. You don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, I am taking it easy. I'm taking it easy. I don't have merch. I don't do merch. You don't think, you think what's interesting, you don't think, you think about um, uh, the other authority. They have to know what's going on. They have to know what's going on.
a lot of a lot of soldiers died. A lot of good people died. So that I could tell you guys literally, the only thing I got to say, hey, look what's going on. We're murdering they're murdering officers. They're murdering the good soldiers. Poggers. Digging the beard. Yeah. Uh, vote for Martin King of the North. I'm doing really well. My, you, you, so you think about um, all of my information, going to school and learning, being trained in information. For whatever reason, it, 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 some people thought it would be some bad guys. Uh, you think about it, very smart. It would be a good idea to tie my quantum mechanics of human creation and my my muon lepton and all of I mean, my, my steel suit, my Excalibur, to make sure it's all tied to officers being killed, like by like people like the the bad guys. It's all being tied, ma ma painting the military and different organizations in a very bad light, right? My information, people don't understand it today, right? You don't understand it today, but as it, as people intelligence grows their brains start to get bigger and they start to truly understand what I'm saying. You, you realize we, we, we tied some information that's going to, that's, it's going to get popular. Maybe after I'm dead, maybe not, you know, but when it does, it's all tied to the airborne Rangers being fucking terrorists. The airborne Rangers creating suicide bombers, mass shooters, the FBI participating in 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 terror uh, terrorist activities, the FBI participating in being terrorists. My I got neighbors. I got neighbors. They want oh yeah, I see. Very yeah, good. which is pretty nice, pretty sweet. <laughs> You know, Susan Powell's dad or grandpa, whoever you want to call him, removing the body. Right? That guy I knew for days, publicly out in my yard, people were watching what he was doing. When he recognized children in a tree fort, things clicked. Like, how will these videos make me look in the court of law? How will these videos make me look to the rest of my my wife? Right, my wife gets a video from these children of me raping and beating other women and children. My my divorce will be. They have this oh shit moment. They have an oh an oh shit more moment. They have a literally they have an oh shit moment, and then it becomes a kill or be killed. Anyways, I saw Biggie's, Biggie Smalls. I saw him again yesterday at the Walmart bench. Do you remember Biggie Smalls when we first met? Let me see. Dear, 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 dear. You think about that, um, my neighbor Jerry having having good cops murdered. Good cops murdered. My neighbor's Al covering up the homicide of good officers. People actually covering up homicide of officers so people can be raped and babies can be sold. That is fucking nuts. What is that telling the world about? Uh, 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 about the military, uh, the chain of command, the military in my location. I voted for Martin Cabello. Been on my vitamin and eggs. My abs look insane. I'm actually getting a little, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you just got home an hour ago. This is again. This is the second time he's. Or I shouldn't say the second time. I met him at the bench at Walmart before. Oh, you hey. think about uh, you think about um, 
me, you meeting me places publicly, the benefit of that, right? You met me in a public location, right? Mm-hmm. Now, in real life, if you had suffered a traumatic brain injury and you met me at a Target, right? But, and, and you weren't sure if you had a traumatic brain injury, if your memory was correct or not, Target, yeah. you know, doesn't have VHS cassettes for all of their security feed. It's uploaded onto the internet where somebody can take hmm. that and go, look, Martin met Biggie Smalls before at Target. And, and, huh. and when Biggie Smalls and Martin were talking the second or third time or however times, you know, Biggie, did, Biggie didn't recognize Martin. He, something, somebody's hurt Biggie really bad. Biggie did not remember that, 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 that he knew Martin Cabello. Why doesn't Biggie remember that? And how bad do you have to give how, – how bad of a traumatic brain injury do we have to give you so that you don't remember me and, until I start showing up in your life repeatedly and things start to click again? Oh, wait, I know that guy. Yeah. How bad would you have to be hurt? I'd have to have my brain scrambled. <laughs> Pretty bad, right? But also, yeah. where would you get the kind of training that tells you you need to go to right if you're Biggie, if you're gonna meet Martin, do it at a target where they where it'll all be uploaded to the internet and other people can get their hands on it. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it's it's like utilizing Big Brother, you know? Right? <laughs> yeah, right? Where would I like I'm the why right I, Biggie's we're not sure what's going on with Biggie. Let's let's document some places he goes and see if he were, he doesn't remember that shit. He doesn't remember Biggie doesn't remember doing this or doing that. He doesn't remember these people in real life. Uh, you know, you meet my wife again. It's like, she doesn't remember you. I don't remember you. She doesn't. What's going on? How bad of a traumatic brain injury does somebody have to have to not remember somebody? Right. Yeah. Sorry, let me close this door real quick. It's getting a bit noisy. Is this thing starting to click? Uh, yeah, but so I guess so you could even potentially, if the perpetrator is smart enough, um, receive a traumatic brain injury and not even realize that you had gotten a traumatic brain now injury. Now you're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh we gosh. have a we have a way of giving people now if you've been following me long enough there's a way you can be given a traumatic brain injury where you don't your family your friends nobody knows you've been given one hmm. i wonder maybe like huh i would think of something in the realm of like carbon monoxide or something like that well i mean if no. we're killing neurons carbon monoxide is not is not an isolated doesn't isolate cells mm. of the neurons, right? Okay. Right. You, I mean, we're, we're, we're talking a traumatic brain injury where, where people don't like. I remember my like. You remember your house. You remember how to get to the airport and back and shit, right? You, you remember mm -hmm. Uber. You remember the basics, but you don't remember ever meeting me before. You, carbon monoxide yeah. wouldn't need to do that. I would we would need some very sophisticated technology. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 asphyxiation. Even that. You think about. It's going to cause all kinds of things, not just yeah, bodily damage. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. No, hmm. I mean you, 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 you. Now you think about in real life, my neighbors, Alan, Jerry, and the men in my community doing the things that they did. Did they actually allowed themselves to be documented, and the military and government agencies to be documented doing that shit? They literally made videos for other countries to show the world, look, the Airborne Rangers create suicide bombers. The FBI creates mass shooters. Whenever there's a suicide bomber or a mass shooter in the United Kingdom, here's a video on how they make them. Now, are we doing that? I are you sitting, now you go, are, now you, as, as Afghanistan, the United Kingdom, you go, is it, is it the, the, the Royal Marines doing that? Or, or is it is it is it actually the Taliban? Was the Taliban in your group? Who did you see doing those things? And people start going, well, fuck. Yeah, the Airborne Rangers do that shit in my town all the time on Fridays when they get drunk.
they go out and terrorize people. Yeah. It, right, the public starts putting shit together. Well, shit. Yeah, I saw some Marines. I saw some Marines at the local bar two weeks ago beat the shit out of somebody because they were too fucking drunk. Mm -hmm. You think about, too, like, um, I guess, like, in movies and stuff, if you want to say that, like, when soldiers or people in the military are overseas visiting somewhere, let's say, like, Japan or something, mm -hmm. um, that kind of shit goes down there as well, like, almost just as easily, yeah. if not easier. Now, now we're getting somewhere. If you can't stop the airborne, if you can't stop the wolfhounds and, 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 and the military at a, in a military base or next to a military base from murdering officers, murdering civilians, raping and impregnating, selling babies. What the fuck do you, what, what kind of picture are you painting f that the military is going to do when they come to your country when there's no chain of command? Yeah. Right, you said, well, right here, well, my, I live next to two bases, two military bases, right? Banger and Lewis McCord. Oh, right? like the highest concentration for uh, a ranger's chain of command. There's all kinds of senior officers surrounding them. There's all kinds of people that are supposed to be keeping tabs on these fucking men. Right? And maybe they are, but they're just in bed. Now we're getting somewhere. There's all kinds of people that are supposed to be keeping tabs on these men. And some, for some reason, the chain of command at Lewis McCord and Banger wanted to make sure other men want to kill their soldiers. The chain of command wanting to make sure their men could be documented in a way that would cr lead other nations to want to murder them. Why would the chain of fucking command want that? Unless they were blackmailed or got some sort of kickback as well. Yeah, or, or, or we just allow the people who don't participate in the sex crimes to get murdered overseas. Oh, the, the honest people with integrity still yeah we're, we're gonna we'll just I, I did a thing uh, it, 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 cartels and taliban ieds is code for, for in cartels and taliban terrorist organizations for uh biggie smalls won't participate in doing our drugs he won't he won't utilize the women and children we're providing him for sex we're concerned that he uh -huh. we're concerned that he's going to turn in the rest of his unit and we're going to lose that money. The money blow up the operation. The money we need to buy bullets and weapons to kill more American soldiers. Biggie Smalls, by refusing to participate in these sex crimes and these drug crimes, is a liability. Can we take out Biggie with yeah. an IED so the rest of his unit can continue to give us money for cocaine and child prostitution? Can we murder Biggie Smalls in real life? In real life. IED in the United States, IED is, is synonymous for casualty of American soldiers and things like that in cartels, mm -hmm. terrorists. It, it, they, what does IED mean to you guys? They'll tell you to your face. It means we have to kill somebody who will not participate. Who's not, who's going, who's hindering our money. Yeah. Who's, who's liable to blow the whole operation. Right? Biggie Smalls doesn't want to have sex with children. Doesn't want to buy drugs. Biggie Smalls needs a fucking IED. And they can even make it look to the rest of your um, uh, troop or whatever. I'm, that, I'm a oh. wolfhound. You know, um, but we know, we know, we know, you know, I, we, I'll participate, but there's, there's somebody in my unit who won't participate. I can allow the Taliban, the ICE, I can allow them to track us down, take out my helicopter. I survived, but the other guys didn't. The guys who don't participate didn't survive. And I come back as a hero. I'm a fucking hero. My kids are getting free college education. I'm a hero for, for getting other American soldiers murdered. I'm a hero for, for actually setting up the homicide. It's basically homicide. As a soldier, I'm oh a hero. God. I'm a fucking hero. I aided in the abetting a, a, a murder or homicide of other American soldiers. Simply so that I don't get caught or busted or turned in for having sex with children and buying a lot of drugs. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I pick up what you're putting down. Now, in my house, in my house, officer, a cop was fucking, a good officer was murdered for trying to stop bad people from doing bad shit. 
You know, and people, you know, people are like, we need proof. There was like, you don't understand all kinds of kids started making videos from the very beginning. So I, I talked about being tortured yeah. in my backyard. People sat around eating fucking popcorn. Like people cheered and clapped. And I'm like, there's, there's other people in the bushes recording all the recording American citizens cheer as soldiers torture American citizens, showing that the American, yeah, showing that the American military is the terrorist. I mean, if you saw a video, if yeah. I showed you a video of some soldiers raping, torturing, and beating people, killing, killing the other soldiers who wanted to call the authority, be like, you guys can't do this shit. Like, you know, some men went, we, this can't happen. And we, you, you see a video of soldiers killing those guys who are trying to, the good ones. What does that make, what does that make the American military look like? What is it? I mean, what makes it look like? What does it? What does it show? They're the terrorists. What is it? They yeah. are the terrorists. They are. The and terrorists. what's so messed up? In the fucking story is that the Airborne Rangers, the Wolfhounds, they're fucking terrorists. I, they terrorized me. Yeah. I, I, in real life, I was terrorized. I was tortured. I was waterboarded. I was beaten. They're terrorists. Any other? Right, yeah. In my life. The Wolfhounds, the Airborne Ranger, fucking terrorists. You can't change that. There's children that witness. There's women that witness. They, those people that think it's funny at the time, they walked away and went, well, shit, do they do that everywhere? Literally. Yeah. Some, some, some kids were sitting on the other side of a fence. Like, you, I'm sitting there getting, like, I remember I'm, I'm on my knees just bleeding out of my face. And I remember a girl turning to her mom going, do you think they do this in every country? Is this what they do when they're deployed? That was the question from the kids. The adults are laughing, having fun. The kids are going, is this what they do when they're deployed? So were the, were the adults, so the adults were just neighboring citizens? Well, uh, so kind of, uh, you know, so like, yeah, like there were there just other spectators outside of the situation who are like, oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, like me and my wife, we had a house we were working on. You know, we had bought, I had another another house that we were work, doing things on. And, uh, you know, uh, my house was broken into. My, my wife's life was threatened. I was threatened, <laughs> you know, so that somebody could buy the house and make, make money off of it. That's a felony. Especially, God, especially yeah. you think about this, especially when, when, Catholic Community Services, Washington State Patrol has told the, the authority, me and my wife are not allowed to transfer any intellectual or physical property out of our hands. We, we, had a, we can receive money. We can make money because that's, you know, you make money. But you, we can't actually yeah. have a house or any property money taken from us. Till we're, we can't give any money out till our traumatic brain injuries, both of them are better. And, and then we just so then we allow the community to watch all of these people exploit traumatic brain injuries. Yeah. Now, right, my neighbors they had to, the neighbor that got the house from me. Oh, my God! I sorry, I just realized what you're saying by saying my that. neighbor that got the house from me was my neighbor when an officer was murdered in my house. I'm a screamer. My wife's a screamer. We're loud. So they were rewarded for covering up the homicide of an officer. My neighbor owns a construction company. They were rewarded. The male, I shouldn't say the, the wife and the daughter. I, had, I sat down with the wife of my neighbor, of the guy Sabre Construction's wife, and I told him, you cannot, I told her, you cannot allow your husband to trade you off for sexual favors because your kids are watching. And what do you think, I was like, what do you think the men in your life are going to think about your daughters? Do you want your daughters to be traded off for sex? The guy, though, the husband, not a very good man. Not a very good yeah. man. But, you know, but aiding and abetting the cover-up of, of, of the murder of an officer. They murdered an officer. Mm. And why did every now, why did, how did they get everybody to shut up? A lot of money. A lot of, right, a bribe. Not even a bribe. Can you imagine me, you knowing an officer was killed in, in, in my house, and I just, how much money does it take? Five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. How much money do you need? Yeah. How much money do you need 
to not speak about it. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. pretend this yeah, officer. Right? We're gonna pretend this officer got ambushed by some other guys, or we're gonna pretend this officer's car flipped over. Whatever it is, we're gonna pretend some shit. How much money does it will it take us to pay you off? God. So, so I have a question. So, Al and Jerry are both from overseas. I know one is from South America, and I believe another is from the Middle they're, East. They're my neighbors. They're American so, citizens. Oh, I, I thought for some reason I thought I had remembered you saying they were originally from overseas. No. No. no? Oh, okay. Because never kids, mind. Then my we're question somewhere. Was, so this is fascinating. So I talk about. You're bringing up Alan Jerry. Before I moved into this house, a lot of murders took place at Shadow Park Apartments, where I lived, and a house I lived in, Furlane Heights. A lot of people were murdered. A lot of a lot of people laid their lives down to try and save me and my wife. So we moved we moved in here, knowing bad things were happening and going to continue to happen. Right, so mm -hmm. I got I, I got to go to a church for some some children public. So I got a lot of kids that weren't public. People didn't know what I did. It was all uh, uh, you know in the shadows, right? I helped women and children in the shadows. Oh. It wasn't a public deal. Like fire station sixty. Yeah, it wasn't a public deal. So th when I when mm -hmm. I went down to Holy Disciples Church, I got children publicly. Public. Af now you think about this. After, after the Pierce County sheriffs and the people in my community verified these men would participate in rape, torture, and the murder of officers, the cover-up of illegal activities to paint the military in a bad way, they had to make sure, first, before Martin got children placed in this house, we need to make sure these men will rape these children, these men will participate in murder, homicide, and cover-ups. We need to make sure these men will be able to be documented using other American soldiers so that so that other countries now know the Airborne Rangers are terrorists. You see what I'm saying? So people understand yeah. what's going on. Like, I got moved in here so people could document some shit. They documented my Susan Powell's... I mean, think about Susan Powell's grandparents complaining that their daughter's missing or whatever, knowing, knowing, knowing they participate... In sex trafficking, they participate in illegally impregnating women to sell babies. Oh my you think God. about the uh, Pierce County Sheriffs and the detectives. You think about and I'm, I know, I know, I know my daughter was part of that shit. You think about the pals. They know their daughter was part of the shit too. She was part of our group when people were murdered and things like that. She was part of it. She was part of being sex trafficked by men, military men. Mm -hmm. Bad, corrupt sheriff's officer. She was part of being sex trafficked. He didn't say shit. He just went, I need to sue the state for money. I know, I know that I, you know, you know Susan Powell's grandpa or dad, I have, I ha he had Josh tortured. Yeah, I, I know a bit about that, yeah. He had him tortured, and then you fucking sue the state for millions of dollars, costing the entire town, all the taxpayers, money. Yeah. That wouldn't have to be paid if honest people didn't cover up all of these homicides and murder. Yeah, a leech on the earth. I mean, literally, yeah. we recorded. We recorded. They recorded. They recorded the, the the pals' parents having somebody raped in their fucking basement. They recorded. They recorded me be, giving a traumatic brain injury, and 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 my me being told my wife was somebody else's wife by the Powell's, it's not your wife. And then if you want the tor if you want this psychological torment to stop, there's some rifles. You could you could shoot some cops. You could blow some shit up. Wait the, I could do the same thing your son in law did. If I want the torture to stop, I can do the same thing your that, that your son in law did. Huh, what does that tell you about their son in law? Right if if I want it to stop, if I want Susan Powell's fucking parents to stop having people beaten and raped and tortured and shit like that, I can I can blow myself up. I can kill some cops. Well, what happened? <laughs> now, where have we heard that before? Oh, my God. They, they allowed people to document shit. 
Susan Powell's parents, the men in my neighborhood, painting the American military and local authority as a terrorist organization to other nations. Now, when you register a, 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 an American unit from the military as a terrorist organization, you don't actually tell them, right? Afghanistan's not actually telling America, we now, because of videos and information documented over and over again about the Airborne Rangers, you guys are now classified as a terrorist organization. We, they pretend to help us, but they're not really helping us. Because, because this information helps them. Now we're getting somewhere where they pretend to help us. Right, we're gonna we're gonna have a, a foreign a foreign country pretend to help the American military, and the American military will go in thinking they're getting help, when in reality that unit is already classified as a terrorist organization by that foreign country. My kids yeah. were from the international community, the international. Mm -hmm. So they took it back home with them. Yeah. you guys told us to count on the military, the FBI, or whatever. But look, isn't this, isn't this what, what, what they're, they're coming here, the American military, the airborne, they're coming here to stop this terrorist activity. But if you see, they're the ones that create it. How do you, they're coming here to stop themselves. Yeah. They're coming here to stop themselves. But it's, a, you know, Right, then you think about it. the American military. They're coming here to help us, and the, the you know the officials on the on the front. So you're you're the Rangers. Oh yeah, we got your back, man. We got you guys covered. But I'm telling my unit, the, our intelligence agency has said that these Rangers they're fucking terrorists. Mm -hmm. Our intelligence agency that has collected information on the Airborne Rangers, they're terrorists. They're a fucking terrorist unit. So, so would they be pretending to help them because? say for like the Taliban or something like that, ISIS, whatever, because this information helps them um, train and gain new recruits, well, do they want it to be perpetuated? I don't think they want it to be perpetuated, but when you and your, when your home country, so you think about in Afghanistan, Afghanistan is fighting the Taliban. And then you find out we're fighting the Taliban and the Taliban is so successful because the airborne rangers are getting them recruits. Oh, it's just a domino effect. But why? Why? How are these? How are these terrorist organizations and cartels so effective at gaining new recruits? What kind of videos, documentation are we giving them? What information are we giving them that makes them so successful at recruiting? Yeah. Now, think, now you think about. I'm just, I'll tell you exactly how it goes down. I've never been to your town before. We're the we're the Airborne Rangers, right? I'm an Airborne Ranger. I've never been to your town before. You get told, hey, the Airborne Rangers are coming, right? Somebody said, hey, the Airborne Rangers are coming. But before they show up, somebody else shows up. You want to see what they do? Here, here's a video. They're going to rape your women. They're going to murder your, 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 your sons and daughters. They're cold-blooded rapists, pedophiles, and perverts. They're the actual terrorists. I don't want you to believe me, though, right? I'm not asking you to, to, have, to have blind faith. I will show you videos. I will show you pictures. They are the terrorists. Mm -hmm. They are the, now, how do you argue with that shit? It's, but now you have videos, audio of them doing shit all over. You have it documented that the military is a terrorist organization. Not only do you have witnesses, you got, we got witnesses, we, we got all, we got video. We, we document not just one time. They didn't just try to, well, you can say, well, they were just fucking with 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 that guy one time. Well, here, here's a video. Here, like Man. they had, they 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 repeatedly raped people in front of their husbands and their sons. Right, you're, we'll take your daughter. Right, the Airborne Rangers, literally, a video of the Airborne Rangers taking uh, uh, brothers and sisters, forcing them to fornicate with a knife to the mother's throat. If you don't fuck your sister, I slit your mom's throat. A video, oh my God. videos. Little boys, if you don't have sex with your mother, we will slit your dad's throat. Damn. 
it's nuts. You, I mean, what is the what is the chain of why would the chain of command for the local police, the military, why would they allow that shit to happen? Why 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 you think of it, the chain of command has to have some kind of they yeah, they have to know something is going on, at least in some isolated well, instances. Well, here's the thing, though, because it, with, I talk about my particular situation. A lot of people died. Mm -hmm. So it's not as if the military can go, we, 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 this is the first we've heard of Martin. They're, they're like, no. fuck, man, every time somebody get, goes, gets sent to for whatever, everybody dies. What's going on? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's not as if this, like, the, what's going on? How are all these cops, all of these soldiers being murdered? And why are we, why are we, well, you go, what, what was that soldier going to do? Oh, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was a witness for some, some sex trafficking. What was that officer supposed to do? Oh, he, he was doing a report on, 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 um, forcibly impregnating women to sell babies. What? Everybody that's been killed. They showed up to a house and when when certain men were involved and they were murdered. Yeah. You, you, you think they start asking some fucking questions? Because I'm, I'm it's, when I talk about women and children being witnesses and information being being uh, recorded, mm -hmm. actual recording, an airborne ranger, like pretend it was you. We have recordings of an airborne ranger beating a man unconscious. Until he didn't remember his name, and then telling the man he was a pimp for the unit. He was the he was the 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 unit's pimp. His job was trafficking women and children for the unit. We have it recorded, and then we have it recorded. Yeah. Then then you have women and children recording. So you have the the you have a recording of the military actually trying to make somebody a pimp to traffic women and children, while allowing those those men that were recorded trying to ter make somebody a pimp to traffic women and children, recording those military men actually participating in trafficking of women and children. Yeah, man, that is so, I mean, it's really smart, but it's so fucked up. Oh, God. Yeah, man, how many, how many officers or how many mil how many innocent lives need to be lost so some men can continue to rape people and sell babies. How many lives have to be lost? For them, as many as it takes, I guess. I mean, you think it's just nuts. You know, the, the police helping. I mean, if you're a child watching that situation, how did the bad guys get away? Yeah. Right. The, the authority, what? Yeah. How did they get away? And they're still like like you posted the other day. They're still clearly roaming around, living living their normal lives. An officer was murdered. Yeah, and that should be like big, big news. An officer was murdered simply because he told two old men to stop raping somebody who was already knocked unconscious and raped. An officer was murdered. And not only did it, yeah. was an officer murdered, after they allowed the military to be recorded torturing women so that they would be okay with having sex with random strangers. First, I mean, imagine that I have to record you being, you beating and torturing a woman so that she'll have sex with you. Now, now, now we have videos of you, of her, looking like a willing participant to have sex with you. But we also have a video of her being brutally fucking beaten. And, and, and yeah, that before way we, she passes out blackout, we, they whisper, we'll murder your fucking son if you don't fuck whoever we tell you. Boom, knocked out. Wake her back up. Wake her back up. Wake her back up. Choke, torture. We'll murder your fucking son if you don't have sex with whoever we tell you. Boom, knock her the fuck back out. And then, and then, We make sure those women and children who watch that shit happen see the, the those victims be paraded around by you. It's 
So basically by doing that, they can not only cover your ass, but they can also have the other video footage to blackmail you if necessary. Wait, wait, now like you're getting say, give them an ID. Now, these women, they think, well, I don't know. They don't, uh, I don't know why I had sex with that person, but now I don't want my family to know. I mean, you think in real life, women, I don't know why I had sex with those people. I, now I feel guilty. I'm ashamed. I can be blackmailed. Guilty. You as a woman or you as the man, the victim, you don't realize, you don't remember. That's the whole point of a trauma induced blackout. You don't remember. You don't remember being beaten unconscious and told you had to. You don't remember that part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trauma-induced blackouts. Yeah. Right. You don't remember you've been beaten with, with, and told you had to. All you remember is the, the, the actual whatever because we, we – right, I beat you. So I'm, I'm a biggie small – I'm going to beat you and tell you. You have sex with whatever woman I tell you. Boom, I knock you the fuck out. I do it again. Biggie, you have sex with whoever we tell you. I knock you the fuck out. Then I record you having sex with whoever I tell you. You don't remember why you did it. You just remember you did it because I'm showing you the videos that I'm going to blackmail you with. Freaking nuts. Cold blooded murderers. Susan Powell's family, my neighbors, Alan Jerry, cold blooded fucking murderers with the help of the police. The only way you can kill a good officer is with the help of a bad officer. The only way you can cover up the murder of a good officer is with the help of bad FBI. That's the only way. The only way. My neighbors, Alan, they should be in fucking jail for homicide. They should be in jail for rape. There's a lot of people in my community. Killing an officer should not be fucking acceptable. It's not acceptable. You know how bad that hurts? Ugh. Fucking dumb shit. Start me over again. They murdered a fucking cop. Right? Some cops, some, some cops family, it's a wife and some children without a husband or, or a father. There's some, some officers that don't have a family right now or their family doesn't have a, 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 a father figure, a husband figure in their life anymore. No more. And not only do they not have the officer in their life anymore, not only do they not have that officer in their fucking life anymore, we didn't give the officer the the, the actual fucking uh, 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 honor they deserve. The, the, the burial they deserved. The legacy of their memory they deserved. We didn't give it to them. We stole, not only did we steal a father and a husband away from families, we stole the honor that those officers were supposed to get for the rest of their lives so the bad ones can walk around. We killed the good ones so the bad ones can walk around. Questions about fasting. Let's see. <laughs> voting for Martin, King of the North. My day's going good. You just ask me about PTSD. Those are the things of my PTSD.
Those are those are the things. They're not answering. Let's see here. Lay go live. <laughs> Hello? Yo, hold up. <laughs> Yo, hold on, let me do something. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, Martin, you all right? How are you doing, sir? Good, thank you, sir. Um, I just wanted to ask you about the... Um, you know, the crossover from en uh, energy into matter, it it's quite a fascinating concept. Just, well, so it, it's not a concept, it's facts of reality. So in physics, quantum right. field, there's local manifestations of energy into matter, right? Energy has to be locally manifested into the matter that is my daily bread and my last supper. How does it do that? The light of the world sacrifices itself on a cross to do so. Right, quantum field, there's local manifestations of energy into matter. A local manifestation of energy into matter. How do I get you to understand that? Your daily bread and your last supper. You got your daily bread and your last supper when the light of the world sacrificed itself on a cross to have a local manifestation of energy into the matter that is your daily bread and your last supper. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Uh <laughs> Right. Well, that, oh, that, was, that was pretty much it. Uh, thank you. No problem. God bless. You have a great day. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, we, we, we can... Boot trolls. We can cover whatever you want. <laughs> All of this information... My name is Martin. If you can't use my name, I'll block you from my page. <laughs> Jake, let's see here. Go live. Martin, what's up? Not much. How are you doing? Good. How about you? Pretty good. I want to ask you a question about religion. All right. What do you think about um, psychedelics in the story of religion? Do you think they had anything to do with creating it? They have nothing to do with each other. You don't think so? Oh, I know so. Like, if you, where did we come up with? Where, how did we discover the genetically inherited condition called synesthesia? Uh, I'm not sure. How did we discover it? So, in, in Judaism, uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, all religions, right? somebody was born with the ability, right? Just like in the Bible, take this yellow scroll and eat it. It was sweet like honey on my tongue, but or, or, you know, but bitter. Synesthesia. Yep. They're describing a genetically inherited condition. Has nothing to do with psychedelics. But if if you don't know that, I mean, have you ever studied synesthesia? Uh, no, but I've heard you talk about it, so I know a little bit about it. But, but before me talking about it, and every religion knowing, they got their information originally from people with synesthesia. Why? Why don't they teach that? Is that to keep those people with synesthesia out of the public eye so they can dictate what it is is actually being told? Yeah, they can't spread the word anymore. Right now, if, that's what I'm like. I, if I can get as many people today to research this genetically inherited condition called synesthesia, you read it and you go, you literally, you go, what do you mean every, every 200 years, every 1,000 years, there's people that are born that can actually see a body of light in the bow of a con? Where the Bible actually tells me I can see Jesus. Where Buddhism actually tells you you can see the seven-code rainbow body. Hinduism tells you you can see their God. Judaism tells you you can see Yahweh. Islam tells you you can see their God. Every religion? Every one. Every, now you think about it. The glory of God is too bright for you to nay your lake. To, for you to lay your naked eye upon. This doesn't say God is 
removed itself from your life. God doesn't want to have anything to do with you. God will never reveal itself to you. No, it says the glory of God, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, is the glory of God is too bright for you to lay your naked eye upon. You know, the common sense are telling you, you can't lay your naked eye upon it unless you have you that genetic born. mutation. So, yep. But if you don't have that genetic mutation, what that phrase, that phrase, you cannot lay your naked eye upon the glory of God is for people who don't have that genetic mutation. They're not saying you can't lay your eye upon it. It says you cannot lay your naked eye upon it. Yeah. Well, so do so you, you think, do you think um, psychedelics would be like a synthetic no. synesthesia nope. or no? Nope. No. So now we're going to get somewhere. So all technology companies, all religions, all governments, all militaries and intelligence agencies independently from every country, study synesthesia. Now, if you could get synesthesia from psychedelics, every military, every technology company, and every intelligence agency, independently from every country, would be trying to give your ass a $100,000 a year job. Yeah, Because you can see things now that other people can't see. Things that are re actual real that they need to research and study. Now, if you take psychedelics, is the military going to hire you for your Synthetic synesthesia? No, they don't no. want to have anything to do with you because it doesn't, it doesn't work. But a drug dealer who wants to make money off of you will tell you it's almost the same thing. Yeah. A drug dealer. So you think about this. Somebody taking your money, it's almost the same thing. Somebody wanting to give you money. So, fuck, no, we don't want to give you any money. <laughs> Isn't that so fascinating? That's, you want to take money out of my wallet. Psychedelics and DMT is a real thing. But if yep. you want to put money in my wallet, it's a bullshit lie. Reality hitting me right. The reality hitting you right square in the face. You think about yep. it. Somebody wanted to take money from you. It's real. Somebody wants to give you money. It's fake. Well, right in the end, right. The truth comes out in the end. Right? Yep. So, right. The DARPA, if you can, if you have synesthesia, will pay you two hundred thousand dollars a year. MIT will give you a job to participate in studies. All these places will Because you can see things but, other people can't. Now, yeah, it's very, it's a, you know, interesting, interesting thing, of, interesting thing going on. But, you, you know, um, that phrase, you cannot lay your naked eye upon it. It was, it was embedded into my head when I was really young because they're like, we want – to see what you see, Martin. It's, it's every religion speaks about it. It's been spoken about since the beginning of time. We want to see it, but it, we know we're, and they, look, I, veterans and military and government officials, like we know we can see it. People from Catholicism, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, we know we can see it because it says we can't lay our naked eye upon it. Nowhere does it say we are never allowed to. So then they ask you, can you tackle a tabernacle? So, if you can't lay your naked eye on it, how would you? How would one without the genetic mutation? Now we're getting somewhere. Well, yeah. Have you ever seen the beginning of Christianity and the Pope at the Vatican, the Cardinals? They hold these big discs. Yep. You research. What does that disc do? You're in Christian. This is fascinating for Christians. The light, have no idea. The light comes in. But what? Let's research a monstros in, or tabernacle in Judaism or a sun disc in every other religion. Every religion uses the same device. It's called a tabernacle, a monstros, or a sun disc. What do those do? And then you, you study and goes, it allows a body of light to have a virgin birth in front of my eyes, curing my blindness. Well, I was already told I couldn't see the glory of God with my naked eye, but Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, they all use a device that allows a body of light to have a virgin birth in front of my eyes, curing my blindness. That's in a book somewhere. A book has told me something has a virgin birth in front of my eyes and cures my blindness. The Bible. Huh. Now, after this body of light, because you can't see it, has a virgin birth in front of your eyes, curing your blindness, it puts itself on a cross. Right? It sacrifices itself on a cross over from energy into the matter that is your daily bread and your last supper. A book told me something else gave, did that. So you think you're comparing uh, Jesus on. as the body of light. Hold on. We're going to get – I'm not. I mean, think about this. The, now, the Bible. 
Let's think about this. Something else told me the light of the world sacrificed itself on a cross, but they only told me it did it for my sins. So, and I will never, and I, I can't see it because it's gone. But yeah. if I study this body of light that has a virgin birth in front of my eyes, when I use a monstros curing my blindness, when it places itself on that cross over from energy into matter, what can I watch it do in real life? You that DARPA, MIT, NASA, what can you watch it do after it cures your blindness? Turn water into wine, cure a leper, leave invisible footprints on the beach, walk on water. Huh. Turn five loaves of bread and two fish into chum so you can feed 5,000 people. You can watch it. Now, this real life shit, you can watch it turn into your daily bread or your last supper. Or, instead of grinding it up into your daily bread and your last supper, you can take its dead body wrap it in a shroud and put it in a tomb. And in three days it will germinate and rise again, giving you a salvation seed, yeah. and salvation. It Light does the fuel everything. for life. Yep. Are, now here's the thing. You study, you study, you study and go, Christians will tell you, our God's the only one that rose again. You go, well, in Hinduism, they teach you. They don't know the truth. They don't, they don't know the real meaning behind it. But, but here, here's what's interesting in Hinduism. I studied Hinduism. In Hinduism, they teach you the Hindu gods sacrifice themselves on a cross over from energy into matter that is my daily bread and my last supper. And if I wrap those seeds instead of turning them into food, if I wrap them in a shroud and put them in a tomb three days later, they will rise again, giving me salvation from starvation. That's, in, that's freaking Hinduism. And, but, uh, I mean, you're growing up going, I thought Christianity told me they were the only ones, their God was the only one that did it. Like they just tell you a different version. This yeah, is Buddhist. They don't all connected. Nobody realizes. Yeah. This is a, a seven-colored rainbow body in Buddhism. What does it do? It has a virgin birth in front of your eyes, curing your blindness, and does every miracle of the Bible, every freaking one. So what is the, it's a, every religion's God does? They do this. And now, where can you see every religion's God? Light. The bowl of a cloud. That means, where do you see Yahweh in Judaism? Well, I want to find Yahweh. My fast and I get myself together and I create my own tabernacle. Where does, the, where does Judaism tell me I can take my tabernacle to see Yahweh hang on a cross? Literally, on a cross. I can see Yahweh today sacrifice himself on a cross in the bow of a cloud. I have to have, I have, to have a, a, a tabernacle and align it so I can see right, the seven arcs angles. Seven arcs. Archangels, angles, the seven archangels, the seven archangels, huh? And 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 so now we're thinking. So we got so it does all of those thing about Mary, the sacred heart of Mary. Mary's heart was so pure, it birthed Jesus. Yeah. Now in a rainbow, when you have a tabernacle or a monstros, there appears to be angel wings on each side of the rainbow. Yep. And as you articulate it, move it around to line it up. Right? The, I do that this, when the, the seven seals of a rainbow reveals a body of light that is real light when all seven seals unite. Because right in the beginning, it's just a rainbow. And I'm using my monstros, my sun, this, my tabernacle. I'm adjusting it. And these wings begin to walk towards each other. And then they touch, creating a heart. And as soon as the heart appears, a body of light has a virgin birth out of it, curing my blindness. It's exactly what... exactly what they said or what you said i mean you think about it what did what, what did mary do her heart was so pure god chose her to have a virgin birth well, huh when when the when i use my monstros like christianity uses and was used to create christianity and i align it up a sacred heart does appear on fire before a body of light has a virgin birth out of it Martin, I'm not going to lie. You kind of lost me there. You're talking a little too smart for me. Well, so, so, so let's pretend this is one end of the rainbow and this is the other end of a rainbow, right? Let's yep. pretend these guys are the angels on the earth, what look, a body of light with angel wings, right? The, these capes are angel wings. When they, when I'm aligning my monstros, I'm moving it forward, close to my face, away from my face, up and down. I'm angling it correctly. When the two wings come together, right? You think of an angel wing, a tip, 
Right, one half of an angel wing is half of a heart. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so you when when they touch, when the two yeah. angel wings touch on each side of a rainbow, they create a heart that appears to be on fire. And when they touch and the heart turns on fire, a body of light Cures comes out blindness. of the center of it, curing your blindness. Yeah, I get enough. Are you, uh, it's hard for it's this inform, It's hard for me. It's a hard thing to follow. Yeah. It, well, it's, it's even harder for me to articulate. Yeah. But literally, when you when you're you, in Christianity, when you use the like the Pope does, the device the Pope uses, angel wings, a half shape of. I'll try to make a video and have it drawn out. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> uh, I, I do that. Yeah. You know, uh, angel wings come together. A body of light has a virgin birth out of the flaming heart. Yep. I think you exactly actually did like have a video uh, like that a little uh, bit already. I, think I, I kind did. of, but I don't I don't think I covered the, the actual, wings. yeah. Yeah. I did. This is a monstrance. It's used to keep man in a trance. I remember the burning heart, though. I remember that. Um, I remember you saying something about that. Yeah, but it, 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 it's it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of science and a lot of stuff, and it's hard to my what I'm trying to do now is that we, we take this information and we dumb it down. Yeah, and we've dumbed it down in in a way that people don't understand the true meaning anymore. So right, I'm just like okay, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll take it and I'll, I will try to dumb it down myself, but not dumb it down just. Not dumb it down, just so everybody can understand it. Cause yeah, like yeah. In, in real life, they, we got to dumb it down. Now we're getting somewhere. So the men who have this information, they go, "We got to dumb it down so other people can understand it." In my sense, yeah. well, my thing is, I'm looking at it. You're dumbing it down so people can understand it. And in order to dumb it down, you've changed it so it can be misinterpreted. Yeah. How about instead of dumbing it down, we just articulate it in a different way? I don't go, the person I'm talking to is too stupid to understand this information. I need to dumb it down for him. I need to go, no, I need but to articulate he understands. it. There we yeah. go. Now, how hard is it for you to mess up in the future? Right? You're telling your grandkids, when a rain, the seven seals of a rainbow unite, right? a body of what? Blah, 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 two angel wings. It's very, how do, you, how do you mess that up? It's literally what happens. Yeah. There's two, what appears to be two angels out of light, and their wings, when you're aligning your monstrous, your tabernacle, their wings have to march towards each other. And when you actually align it, get it in the crosshairs the way it's supposed to be, they create a heart. And when that heart, is, heart is, appears, the heart, as soon as the heart appears, it disappears. So it, 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 a heart on fire, and then boom, there's a body of light mm -hmm. that does every miracle from the Bible. But also from every religion, which is fat. Not only does it do every miracle from every religion, it gives you everything you need to be created in its image. It's weird how every religion has that, and people just interpret it wrong, and they don't realize that everything's connected. They don't I mean, think about it's all the same thing, just different interpretation, different articulate, like they articulated it different, and then that led to yeah. misinterpretation, and then yeah, and that's that, that's where I I, I, I said. I'm looking for disciples. I have I have PTSD really bad. I have anxiety. I've been, I've had a lot of bad things happen. Right, you, you know, I got some people right now still threatening to murder me and my wife if I don't stop trying to get some some families reunited. They don't want you to to get this information out. Right, it says all of this information is associated with a massive amount of trauma. Now, if I don't want to relive that trauma then I don't talk about this information, right? If, right, you think if, if a weak, a weak minded person would go the trauma and, and, and the, the events are too horrible for me to even think about this science and religious information, I'm just not even going to worry about it anymore. Cause every time I think about it, I have to remember all of the things that were associated with it. Yeah. So I, so I try to explain to people all of my information, some men thought it would be a great idea to tie it to a, massive amount of torture and fraudulent war crimes created by members of the military and things like that. They didn't now, realize you were too strong. You still speak. Well, I don't know if I'm too strong, but I still speak about it. And all you did was, you know, I'm sure other people, it might've worked and they don't speak. They don't speak about it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, I have autism. I'm going to continue talking about the body of light and, and quantum field theory. 
all you did was you might have succeeded a hundred percent before me in getting people. I'm not going to talk about the body of light anymore because every time I think about the body of light, I have to remember my my wife being raped in front of my face. I have to remember my son being raped in front of my face. Every time I talk about the body of light, I have to remember somebody being raped, murdered, and tortured. So they just I don't, don't talk do about that. it. I don't do that. I have it. autism. I have autism. I'm going to continue to talk about it. All you did with me is is successfully. Uh, teach the world about how awful the military is because I'm not yep. going to stop talking about it. Does that yep. make sense? I have autism. What is they, autism? We they expose themselves because you you know you know what they do now, and you're spreading what they do. I mean, it didn't. You it works. Shutting people up this way worked a hundred percent of the time before me. Yep. Now all it did after me is now every time. I, okay, I still want to work on my science. I have to relive that traumatic event. I have a meltdown on my live feed. You guys have to hear about it so that I can talk about science. Why am I talking about those bad things? Because they're associated with the science that I know. They're associated with the theology that I, it's associated with all of the information. You I can't have. think about one without thinking about the other. Yeah, they were created. In the, they're, they're the same memories. Yep. It's the same memory. And I'm yeah. sure... Not that you want to think about it, but thinking about the bad things help you remember what you want to say. Like you, you know, you get on. Well, saying. yeah, yeah. So, so in that, now, we're, so you think about, um, I, I, you know, did everyone level their autonomic nervous system to access the force? Right. When I'm thinking about, uh, you know, uh, utilizing the, the the nerves in my in my intestine that regulate my brain activity and help main save my memory. Right. So that information now is tied to. Some, some I had to use it. Some military men were were stomping on me, and I, I had to I had to use that stuff. So I think about that training. When did I use it? Oh, when the FBI was in my house, committing felonies. All those bad things. Yeah. Now, when did I right, uh, going into a ketogenic state? Why did I? Ha well, I'm remembering about ketosis, removing plaque out of my brain, inflammation. When did I use that training? Oh, when my neighbor Jerry was 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 threatening to have people murdered so a baby could be stolen. When when Susan Powell's parents were threatening to have people murdered so a baby could be stolen. So a baby could be stolen. Right? They so they made they put themselves like they could have been good people so that when I remember, well I'll I'll remember about I know about it is the training that I got. I never actually used it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They made yep. sure the kids that were following me to see if I would use it and it would work was tied to a massive amount of horrific things. They think that you're just going to forget about it. You're, you're going to stop, but you're not. Well, I'm, I don't know. You know, uh, you know I, I'm, I'm sure eventually one of these traumatic, the I'm sure eventually one of these traumatic brain injuries will stick. But, I mean, you, you think about – I was talking to the kid before me. You imagine me allowing you to see me beat a man to near death so where he doesn't remember his name, and then I tell him he's a pimp. He's a pimp. He's a company pimp for a, the military. He's a pimp for the military. So the mil – and, then, and then, I, then I have another video of the guy actually thinking he's a fucking pimp. But before he thought he was a pimp, we had to, we had to record the military torturing him to believe so. Yep. We had to record the military torture. He doesn't the think about the before because of those traumatic events, right? There was a, during the, so in real life, some people documented the military beating me and torturing me, telling me I was the pimp for the wolfhounds. Air of tech. I was a pimp for the air of tech so he could have women and children have sex with. They recorded me being brutally beaten, brutally tortured. And then there's a period of time where they recorded me where I thought I was a pimp. But we had to document how that shit happens first. Yeah. Why did Martin think he was a pimp? Well, these kids will tell you. Into you. Why did Martin think he was a pimp? Well, the military, the, the veterans in his community, they tortured him into thinking that's who he was. Now, a lot of people don't ever wake up, which is scary. A lot yeah, of people. They just, they just believe. Cause they, don't wanna get, they don't want to deal with that traumatic shit in their head. too painful to think about for them, uh, but, uh, the bigger the grander scheme of things 
were creating terrorists to kill American soldiers by doing all this, allowing the internet. What are you doing? By allowing all this stuff to happen, what are we doing? We're allowing terrorists to be created, funded, and trained on how to kill American soldiers, simply so some men can continue raping. We want to yep. continue. I, I, 